Hey guys, what's up? I am here to give you guys a recap on the new episode of Dragon Quest Dino Daibokin or Dragon Quest The Adventure of Die on episode 17. This episode right here, I thought it was pretty nice and cool. I mean like, um, I thought something of a really nasty a pull might happen, but I guess it's still an a pull depending how you look at it, but I think this is mostly acceptable for now, you know? I <clears throat> So I thought it was a pretty slick episode, etc. So if anything else, let's just get this started. We have to it that Dai and the old man and Bardock along with Mom and, you know, Pop are trying to split up to destroy the spires, you know, because those two spires are the reason why that there's this forbidden spell and it gives Flazar the big advantage, you know. But we have to it that, um, I think the old man, Bardock, I think that's his name, yeah. Dai and Bardock gets ambushed by Zalbera and Mr. Vern's army, and that becomes very bad, and with the Dark Legions also in control at the same time, that's even also more troubling. And we have to it eventually, um, that Dai and Bardock, or the old man of Paprika or something, ends up having some nasty times, you know? And we see to it that Dai gets, gets attacked by Dark Puppeteer Hand, which is actually the original creator the original creator is Mr. Vern himself, you know? While Zobera is casting Thwack on Bardock or the old man that's accompanying Dai, which is also bad. Now, this gives me a lot of nostalgia, alright? Thwack. You know Thwack. That freaking spell. Oh my gosh. Anyone who plays the game of Dragon Quest or Dragon Quest Monsters as annoying as I make references or easter eggs to the games... That spell is so good and useful to you in the games, but when your enemy uses a, uses it uses it against you, that's when hell breaks loose. Because this is like sometimes it could be a 50-50 chance that you could die or you could lose an ally. I went through I went through that stinking thwax, etc. so many times back in the games. It was so annoying that you had to lose an ally and you go like Oh my gosh, I lost someone so important to me. Sometimes you just gotta restart because, you know, Lady Luck or RNG in the games, which is an enemy to you in all games anyway, knows how to mess you over or just give you a lot of trouble, you know? And as for Pop and Mom, they get ambushed by Hadler and his army. And of course, Pop managed to put up a nice fight against Hadler's Sizzler or Sizzle Spell. And this is because he Pop trains with like, um... M Matoriv, you know? You know, the great sorcerer or great mage, you know, that Pop was trained by him. That's the reason why he was able to go, able to cancel out or overpower Hadler's simple fire sizzle spell, you know? But, unfortunately, um, even with Pop using a bomb and then blasting it with a f sizzle spell and defeating mo maybe Hadler's army and causing some trouble to him, unfortunately for Pop and Mom, Hala is still alive and he ends up using his powerful spell Cuz Sizzle or something or yeah I think Cuz Sizzle Cuz Sizzle was the spell that um Hala ends up using against freaking like um against Pop and Mam who are trying to run away you know which is really really troubling because that 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 spell is pretty um pretty dangerous you know so yeah he freaking like um used um Cuz Sizzle he ends up freaking using Kassizzle, Kassiz or Kassizzle, however you want to call it, against Pop and Mam. And we see too that um, Gome Chan managed to distract Mr. Vern enough for Dai to escape the Dark Puppeteer hand. And then as for Dai, he ends up kicking a mage onto freaking like Zalbera, who was casting Thwack on the old man or Bardock or something. <laughs> that was pretty hilarious because when it comes to mages, you know, they're very, very weak physically. Let's not forget. I mean... Anyone who plays the games, you'll know what I'm talking about. Anyone who even watches so many series, depending on how you like and look at it, they always like make that honorable mention where mages are very good at casting spells, but they're so weak physically. You go, you know, you get what I'm saying. That aside, um, Dai and Bardock was about to be finished after going to be jumped on, but un unfortunately for Zalbera and Mr. Vern and Big fortune enough for Dai and Bardock, they are actually saved by Crocodine, you know? Which apparently I guess Crocodine say, I, might have like have a change of heart, which is really ironic, you know? And Dai was actually happy to see him, without any antagonism towards him, you know? He decided, 
Dai decides to like him. Hey, man, what's up? Thanks for helping out. And Crocodile's like, don't worry about the other spires. Someone over there much more powerful than me is going to come by and help him out. And you know, Hadler ends up seeing a um, Mam and Pop alive. And Pop asks Hadler to spare spare Mam, you know. But Hadler refuses due to the fact of what um, Pop did to him. And he ends up throwing Mom at the ice spire. But we see to it that it gets destroyed. Destroyed by Hyunkuro himself, you know, which is really nice. I'm really glad to see Hyunkuro right there Because it looks like to me even though he was covered up by the lava. I don't know if that was enough to kill him You know, I don't know. Maybe I'm overthinking it here and there But I'm glad to see that he's still alive and it was kind of like almost to a hinting obvious because you know When it came to certain sources they say he's like one of the ma main cast of characters showing up, you know Which apparently was also somewhat spoilers towards the end of the end at uh, the opening song as well at the very end. Dai was actually shocked to see Hyukuro still alive and Crocodile tells Dai, go to the tower. I'll take care of the fire 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 tower. You take care of Flazard once and for all, okay? And he throws Dai to the tower as hard as he can and then he decides to get ready to like, handle the fire tower while Hyunkuro gets ready to fight um Hadla for what he's done, you know? And preview next episode is gonna be called Hadla versus Hyunkuro, which is going to be really interesting because we all know Hyunkuro is strong, but he did get overpowered by Dai. But in terms of like um, Hyunkuro's strength, etc., and the fact that he survived that lava attack, deadly lava attack, or he might have been saved or something, might say otherwise. We're going to see a fight between Hyunkuro and Hala, which I look forward to the most, you know? I mean, not to mention he is also Avan Sensei's student. So the fact that he learned his swordsmanship and everything else and learning some spells from Mr. Vern as well is actually formidable enough to know how strong how strong he's going to be. So this is going to be, next episode is going to be interesting. And you know, Toei is actually doing a nice job so far with this series, you know. I know a lot of people may just diss on it and it's your typical shonen type of series and it's like that. I get it, you know. But for me, I thought it's special and I still, I am still enjoying it. The animation quality, the art quality and the music is nicely, is still there, you know. And yeah, I'm looking forward to next episode. Hopefully, it will do a nice job and hopefully Toy will keep up with the great work, you know. So until then, people, I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm Alpha Zero. Have a good day and I'll see you guys next time, alright? Peace out. Bye-bye.